Hi guys, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and I don't know if you can guess what we're going to talk about. Hmm. We're going to talk about oranges. And we've done a color magic video on orange, but now we're doing oranges like in magic as a food, as a fruit, and what you can do with it. Well, you can dry them like I do. You just take an orange, cut it really thin, and put it in your food dehydrator. These smell so good in oils and, well, when you burn them, like if you're burning something for a ritual, they smell so good. Um, oranges just like are part of the sun, you know, they're right up there on the tree, the sun, the moon touches them all the time. I think they're wicked and special. Um, one of my very favorite types of oranges are blood oranges. And I'll be sharing some of these with some close friends because I made these a while ago and they smell so good. Like I make an orange and frankincense a massage blend with coconut oil. It's beyond amazing. So these blood oranges are just so gorgeous and they smell so good. Uh, yeah, and so when we talk about that in the book, I also wanted to show you some... This is like a dried orange peel I got from um, a shop. And it's just like the peel itself, nothing else, and really dry. And that smells really good. Like they did whatever process they use, it's different than when you do it at home. Mm. I dried mandarin skins and I put it in this old sauce jar. I peeled off the label so I could have it in glass. I also have some lemon skins. I just wanted to show you other citruses. They don't look exactly like super pretty, but they like they do their purpose in magic. Lemon skin is really potent stuff. But this video isn't on lemon. I just wanted to share a couple of their citrus. I did a whole video on kumquat and their properties, so check that out. And what else? So let's get into the books. We have five books to read from. Let's just say Supermarket Sabbaths. It's always just a snippet. So let's hear what they have to say. <clears throat> what we look at this for is the polarity because that's something that's not in the other books. So we're looking at orange, and the element is fire, the planet is the sun, right? It's up there with the sun. The polarity is yang. And it says magical uses, love, luck, and money. Okay, let's see if Scotty says the same thing. Magical herbalism, encyclopedia of, and on oranges. Scotty says that the folk name is Love Fruit. The folk name is Love Fruit. And the gender is masculine. The planet is the sun. The element is fire. Powers, love, divination, luck, and money. Magical uses. The dried peel and seeds are a added to love sachets. And the flowers to those sachets designed to lead <clears throat> the to wedded bliss. So if you are looking to seek some marriage and some really beautiful marriage, you would want to do that. The fresh or dried blossoms added to the bath make the bather more attractive. Yeah, sourfleur, I believe is the oil that comes out of an orange blossom. So desired. I just had some friends that went to France and I should have asked them to pick that up because you can't really get it here. <laughs> Not at a cheap price anyway. Um, when you eat an orange, think of a question you want answered. It must be a yes or no question. Count the seeds in the orange. If they are an even number, the answer is no. If odd, yes. Oh my gosh! Every time you eat a whole orange, you can do this spell. You can ask a question. You can do divination through an orange if it's a yes or no. I love it. I love it, you guys. Thank you, Scotty. Because I'm always looking for ways to do divination because tarot is hard and I don't have a lot of in real life friends and you're supposed to read for somebody else. I'm gonna start doing divination with oranges for sure. Then you get like a healthier body. I just love it. Okay, so if it's an even number, the answer is no. If it's odd, it's yes. Orange peel is added to prosperity powders, incenses, and mixtures, and the Chinese have long considered oranges symbols of luck and good fortune. Orange juice is drunk in rituals in place of wine. That's fantastic. 
because a lot of times you don't want to drink in rituals. You want to have your really clear focus. You want to have your your guard completely up and be aware. And alcohol is not really the best for that. And I just wanted to add that to that. Da, 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 da. An infusion of orange peels drunk will guard against later drunkenness. So if you drink in infused orange peels, you won't <laughs> be too drunk, I guess. That's weird. Um, while the water distilled from the orange flower is added to love and lust potions and baths. Okay, cool. So we got a lot of good information out of the Encyclopedia of Magical Herbs. Now let's go on to how we use oranges uh, medis like by ingesting them, okay, in Wiccan the Kitchen. And this is just talking about the magic of eating them. Okay, so orange. Planet, sun, element, fire, energies, love, and purification. Lore, I love lore, probably native to China. The orange was used in imperial sacrifices to the deities. Wow, that sounds really big and important and ritualistic. Oranges are exchanged at the Chinese New Year to spread happiness and prosperity. I did know that. I did know that. <clears throat> Oranges were once eaten to prevent drunkenness. Uh, so he's telling that in both of his books, but he tells it different, which is great. Um, it is curious that a slice of fresh orange is still added to many mixed drinks. Right, like when you go to a cocktail bar and you put an orange in your drink, magically that would keep you from being too, too uh, intoxicated. So, magical uses. Those who have seen orange blossoms used at weddings won't be surprised to learn that this fruit is an uh, age-old love stimulator. It can be added to love diets. However, the juice, when taken internally, is thought to hinder lust. Orange juice and the fruit itself produce spiritual love, like that shared by friends and family. Awesome. Eat oranges at a big family gathering. It'll give you spiritual deep love. Um, for quick internal purification, drink orange juice every morning while visualizing the f refreshing juice cleaning out your system from inside out. Fresh squeezed juice is best. Before I did witchcraft videos, I was making videos on how to do like fresh stuff in nature, like cutting up your vegetables in the yard and um, doing like a raw diet. I was juicing orange juice, like nine oranges in a jug and drinking it in the morning right after meditation. Like this is so cool, I was already doing it, you know. I, I never posted any of those videos, I just made a bunch. Because I think you should eat with nature and you should ask nature to bless your food. Like a lot of religious people sit down and they do their blessing. Um, or even Japanese people, when they sit down before we eat, we say tatakimas, you know, so we do blessings with our food, and I think it's so cool to do that in nature. Um, okay, so orange flower water can be used in desserts for love. Flavor whipped cream with orange flower water, mmm. Stir a bit into vanilla ice cream or add all types of food or add it to all types of food. Only use genuine orange flower water. Check gourmet stores. So don't get it from Walmart, but you need to get it from like your really nice markets that have organic things and well-sourced things. They'll have it probably, or you can order it. If you order it online, make sure you get organic, okay? Oh, especially if you're drinking it, because the pesticides on the outside of the orange are going to go into your body, and there's so many pesticides on there if it's not organic. All right, my rant about organic, blah, blah, blah. Now we're on to one of my new books, Magical Herbalism by Scott Cunningham, and about oranges, he says, well, he calls it sweet orange, and the folk name is love fruit, the gender is hot. That makes sense, it's up in the sun, okay, I get that. Uh, planet the sun, element water, most fruits are just so juicy, it makes sense, water. Um, parts used, fruit and the flowers. And why couldn't you use the wood of the tree if, the, you know, the tree lost some branches? I certainly would. Um, what happened to the camera there? Oh, weird. Uh, basic power, love. 
Specific uses. Add dried peel to love sachets and charm bags. The fruit eaten hinders lust and the fresh or dried blossoms to a bath make one attractive. Orange juice is often drunk in libations during magical rituals in place of the more commonly used wine. So basically he gave us snippets from both those books. It's cool. This book has been interesting so far. I, I like it. And lastly, I just want to give you some medicinal benefits. Uh, and I am not giving you any medical advice whatsoever. We are just reading from a book from David Hoffman. And I'm going to give you the medical uh, medicinal advice that he gives about oranges, okay? Orange. <clears throat> this generally wonderful fruit gives problems to an uh, appreciable minority of people. Oranges should not be eaten by migraine sufferers, along with chocolate. So if you have migraines, don't eat oranges or chocolate. Ch don't eat cheese, and don't eat red wine. And I think that's because of sulfur. Uh, they are one of the few fruits contraindicated for arthritis. If you have arthritis, do not eat oranges. Contraindicated means it's not for you. Um, I learned all those words from massage school and anatomy. For most people that are, for most people they are fine. Satsumas and tangerines act in similar ways, although grapefruit is, uh, are usually all right and lemons almost never give trouble. Orange flower water has, has been used in the past for hysteria because of a lightly relaxing effect. So maybe it's kind of like a sedative. It's so relaxing. Um, the leaves are antispasmodic, so they could stop coughing. I believe that's what that word means. And may be used in insomnia or epilepsy. So those are the orange leaves. I also want to say in there that didn't say in there, if you take any medications that are for heart, your heart, do not eat grapefruit in any form. Don't eat grapefruit candy. Don't use grapefruit essential oil. Don't eat grapefruit, period. Because it can, um, my mom, it, it affected her heart medicine once, and we'd never, ever, ever want that to happen again. You don't want to mess with your heart medication, that's for sure. <clears throat> so next this book says on orange is... Okay, orange flower absolute, and we're, that would be this but this is just a sweet orange oil. You would want to look for Orange Flower Absolute, which is the, I believe it's called, the French word is sur fleur, and it's the oil extracted from the petals of the orange blossom. Okay, so the, the fruit never formed because you took the petal away. It's quite expensive for the oil. So about Orange Flower Absolute, the, a beautiful strong aroma that is quite effective for anxiety, and its associated problems, such as palpitations, and that's your heart, you know, going too fast, I believe. It will ease depression as well. Good for shock and fear. Now, I want to tell you that right above this, and we're not doing a frankincense video, but I just want to tell you why I always put um, orange and frankincense together when I do a massage blend. Well, not a massage blend, a blend for myself. like. For the morning when I get out of the shower I put this oil on my body and it's orange frankincense and then some other stuff I should make a video on it but the base is orange and frankincense and on frankincense now let's hear the medicinal aspects of that in the oil a spicy oil that often eases anxiety makes a good inhalation for respiratory problems okay <clears throat> that's why I use these together it's talked about depression anxiety and uplifting mood the orange is so good for that. And then the frankincense just grounds you, calms you, and makes you feel like everything's gonna be okay. I don't know how else to explain it. It's very fantastic. So I think we got to everything. The candle stayed lit for most of the video, but went out. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next, you guys, but I'm really excited. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. And thanks for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, while we talked about oranges and magic and witchcraft. <laughs>